At the gallery at Penn College, running from August the 25th to October the 9th, the gallery celebrates a decade of contemporary art with the exhibition Take 10. Amongst the group of artists, I recognized the hand of Ned Martin, who I'd interviewed in 2014. One of the works he presents in this exhibition is a painting called Unity. A stunning, dynamic painting, rich with luminous light. One of the hallmarks of Martin's work. Ned Martin's work has undergone a dramatic transformation since we last met. For example, in this most recent work, the use of aluminium as a painting surface Unity is painted with traditional oil paints, but the surface is used aluminium printing plates, which Martin gets from a printing company who previously used the plates to print magazines and inserts, the type you find in Sunday papers, so that there is a residual imagery of car ads or Disney logos or stories about local high school football teams. I leave some of that imagery to show through in the final artwork, kind of a social commentary. What I like about the aluminum printing plates is the hard surface and the industrial look and feel. Martin's artistic evolution is most apparent. When I saw his one-person show, in 2014, there was a clear delineation between realism and abstract. But in his recent work, especially in Unity, this line disappears, and he has combined abstract with part realism to create a different thing entirely, an inspired conception. The beauty of it lays in the natural merging that he achieves by building layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of paint. An arduous process, a labor of love. The name Unity comes from Ned Martin's ideas about the nature of beauty and the nature of art itself. Martin sees divisiveness in this world and his point of view as an artist is to be in opposition to that divisiveness, taking that one step beyond optimism, an ideal that goes hand in hand with passion. For Martin, art is like falling in love, creating a bond that is eternal, a solid foundation, an unshakable union, Martin is a romantic, and like all romantics, he confronts judgment with courage. I am unafraid of ridicule. How others judge me or my artwork is out of my control, as it should be. My job is to paint what I feel and stay true to myself. That is being an artist. For Martin, absolute truth, like absolute beauty is a quest that is rarely achieved. The beauty is in the quest itself, in the attempt. Beauty as found in Martin's work, Unity. Absolute truth is beyond our perception. That's the impossibility of art. But in the searching, there exists the total realization of our acceptance of defeat by beauty. So, in that brief moment, we are truth. Through his paintings, Ned Martin takes us on a quest to achieve the absolute.